Hi guys, my name is Susie Singh from the hit TV show Master Chef. Today we're going to make a pet sucre with a ganache filling, uh, Italian meringue, and a raspberry on top. So let's get started. The first step is to cream the butter. So when you have butter, you just want to melt it down a bit, and then using a spatula, you literally want to make it look like cream. Look at that beautiful texture. So when you're done creaming, add in sugar which is perfect for any type of tart. So all I'm doing now is combining the sugar with the creamed butter. And now we're gonna add in 1.5 eggs, which is just one egg, one full egg with one egg yolk. Mix that together, add that in. Beautiful. So. I'm going to combine in the 1.5 eggs with the butter, sugar, and the reason why I'm using a spatula and not a whisk is because when we add in the pastry flour, it's going to, it's basically going to get stuck in the whisk, so we want to make this as easy as possible for us and combine it so everything is homogeneous in the mixture. And when it comes to baking, it's all about the science. You really need to have exact measurements, otherwise your pat sucre and your ganache won't come out the way you want it to. I'm gonna add in the lemon zest. And I just zested one lemon using a microplane. Uh, you can also use a grater at home. So in uh, thirds, I'm gonna add in the dough and combine that with the batter that we have. So that's one third mixing this together. It's just a sugar dough. So you could do this for key lime pie, you could do this for um, any type of fruit tart. So we've got a nice homogeneous mixture and we're gonna add in the second third of the dough. We're gonna combine this together. And then at some point, you really wanna put your hands in there and get get into it. I mean, my whole theme on this is food is love because when it comes to dessert, you really want to take your time on it. And the hardest part when it, when you're making a dessert compared to like a savory dish is you really can't taste as you go. So right now I can't really taste this dough unless I cook off a little bit of the dough and test out um, the actual texture of it. So now I'm at the point where I want to use my hands and I'm just going to knead this from scratch. Um, it's a little sticky at first, but you'll notice it'll combine together perfectly. See how it's already forming together? This is what you're looking for. You want to get it to the point where you've got a ball and you can't really see any of the flour at all. We are almost there. All right, now you've got a beautiful dough. We're now just going to Put right onto this cutting board. This is amazing. So we want to level this out. You can even see the lemon zest in here. So our next step is to roll this out. And what we want to do is have it um, up to, and a ruler is really handy for this, um, about one fourth of an inch. So when you're doing that, just check it out on your ruler and see how high it is. And you want to make sure this is as even as possible. And my suggestion is definitely to refrigerate this. If you do, you're going to have a very easy way of rolling this out directly onto the tart pan. We're only going to work with one tart pan today, but uh, the quantity that I'm giving you the recipe for is for um, about 12. So I really just want this to be as even as possible. Checking this out. This looks good. All right, so now I've got my Fat Daddy-O's uh, tartlet pan. Spray that with a little bit of Pam. What I'm going to do now is just cut that amount onto here and then lay it on top.
Do this very carefully, guys. I'm going to just mold it out to the look so that it's all around the sides. And if you just let, put this in the oven like this, it's going to completely puff up. So that's why we're going to put in a little bit of parchment paper. And we're just going to put in one lemon on top so that way it is, it's going to be weighed down. And so the bottom of this is not going to puff up. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. Ganache is the easiest thing in the world to make. A lot of people don't know what ganache is. It's just an equal combination of chocolate and heavy cream. And the secret to making a beautiful ganache is to scald the heavy cream. And when I say scald, what I mean is allowing the heavy cream to come up to a boil and develop a skin. And then you're gonna pour that into the chocolate that we have right here. Let that sit for about three minutes and then whisk it in. So I have equal amounts of heavy cream to semi-sweet and dark chocolate. So with the heavy cream, it comes up to a scald super fast. So you definitely want to pay attention. You don't want the heavy cream to sit here for a long time while you're working on the tart or other parts. Um, if you do that, um, it's going to actually burn or boil over, just uh, depending on how long you leave it in the pan for. As that's happening, I'm going to work on the meringue. So the meringue is just a combination of egg whites and uh, powdered sugar, as well as uh, just regular granulated sugar. And you want equal parts of all. So I've already put that into this KitchenAid mixer right here. And now I'm gonna allow for that to start whisking away. Speed four, as I'm working on this ganache. It's come up to a scald, so I'm literally just gonna pour this right in. I'm just gonna let this sit. Hey guys, so it's been 15 minutes. Let's see if these pie tarts are ready to go. Oh, they look done. This looks great. So our next step is to take out the lemon as well as the parchment paper and just let the bottom of this cook down. So this will take another five minutes at 350 degrees in the oven. While that's going, we're gonna finish our ganache as well as our meringue. The next step for this is literally just to whisk this. So the heavy cream has been sitting in the ganache for over three minutes. What we're going to do is just whisk this together. And this is such a beautiful process because right now we've just got the heavy cream on top with like the, um, the chocolate at the bottom. So as I'm whisking this, I just want you guys to see this. And you can actually see the ganache in the middle forming. And what you'll notice with your whisk is it's getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Look at this velvety texture of this ganache. So this is perfect. We're actually gonna pour this into the tart and then we're gonna add in the meringue. So the meringues are done. I whisk them up to a heavy peak and what we're going to do is put that into a pastry bag. So that way we could squeeze it out and then uh, brulee that with a torch. So I've got a pastry bag right here. And you can tell that this is a stiff peak because when you take out this meringue, it's literally sticking. So in um, medium to stiff peak, what you have is the top of the meringue is gonna slide over just a little bit. So you're gonna get a little bit of a cusp that's going over, but with the stiff peaks, it literally just sticks to this. Perfect. So all we're gonna do now, we're just gonna pour this in. Yum. So it's been five minutes. I think we're gonna take the tarts out now. They look just about ready. And we're gonna pour in some ganache, add in the Italian meringue that we made, and then top it off with some raspberries. Oh yeah, this looks fantastic. So you can tell that the tartlet is done because of the golden brown edges on the side and in the middle, you don't really have that doughy texture. It's nice and stiff. So the easiest way to take out a tartlet is by 
really flipping it on its side, taking it up, and over. Wow, that looks beautiful. <laughs> Let's see it right side up. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna start plating this, and I wanna do everything on the plate. So, got this beautiful plate over here. We're gonna put this tartlet away. We're gonna put this off to the side. And we're gonna first put a little bit of chocolate at the bottom, why not? And I love using paintbrushes when I'm uh, plating. I think it's a very organic way of just designing the plate. So I'm just gonna take a big heap of this beautiful ganache like that, brushing it down, perfect. And now all I'm gonna do is pour some of this ganache right into this beautiful tartlet. Oh, wow. And anything that you have left over, you can use for truffles. So I'm just gonna level this out very organically, I'm not gonna use a spatula or anything because it's gonna ruin the edges. And what I'm gonna do now is just add in a couple of raspberries and a little bit of meringue. It's all in. You don't need to overdo this, guys. Very simple, chocolate, sugar, raspberries, a little bit of Italian meringue. When you do that, you've got a beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna brulee that. So I've got my brulee torch. Almost there. Beautiful. Did you see how that meringue just like puffed up as we we're bruleeing? So all I'm going to do now is just plate this right on the side, and you've got beautiful pat sucre tartlet with classic French ganache, raspberry, and Italian meringue. If you want to kick it up a notch, join some master chef classes. This is Susie Singh signing off. Thanks, guys.